If you were to create a 2019 starter pack of books that would help interpret the times we live in, what authors and titles would you include? Okay, I, I, I really need to do a thoughtful, uh, l provide a thoughtful list like this where I work through it over time, but off the top of my head, mm -hmm. I, would, I would suggest like four um, books. I would suggest um, Herbert Schlossberg's Idols for Destruction, Okay. I would recommend uh, Ideas Have Consequences by Richard Weaver. I would uh, recommend David Wells' book, uh, No Place for Truth. Um, and he's got a, a, a series of books, I think four or five after that, that are also very good. It's his analysis of the church in the postmodern wasteland, um, God in the Wasteland and um, The Courage to be Protestant. And he, so David Wells' book, but mm -hmm. No Place for Truth is uh, very good. And then I'd recommend one of the early Rush Dooney books, um, maybe The Politics of Guilt and Pity or Intellectual Schiz Schizophrenia. I think everybody needs a, a dose of Rush Dooney. R Rush Dooney is not, um, not to be followed in every respect down every alley, mm -hmm. but he is an incisive thinker, particularly the early Rush Dooney, where he calls a number of things that develop, you know, that we're dealing with now, um, he saw coming. So, uh, Idols for Destruction by Schlossberg, um, uh, Ideas Have Consequences by Richard Weaver, um, and No Place for Truth by David Wells, and um, let, let's say uh, Politics of Guilt and Pity okay. by Rush Dooney. Are there certain schools of thought that you think are really important to follow? Cert certain places where you say, I, I want to see whatever comes out of there? Like today, c currently? Yeah, today, uh, economic, political, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah um, I'm, I'm interested in, in, in economics. I'm, when it comes to um, the sale of widgets, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a libertarian, I, mm -hmm. basically, and and I've and I've learned a lot from people like Thomas Sowell and and um, uh, economics in one lesson by Hazlitt, and so economics, the, basically the Austrian school and Chicago school of free market economics, I think has a lot to offer, mm -hmm. and I think there needs to be a Christian. Um, take on that. I, I, th mm -hmm. I think we need a Christian thinker to incorporate uh, free market economics okay. in, in a Christian setting. Okay. How about, um, you gave me the, the list of books that are the starter pack of the, the, the best books out there to get yourself oriented. Is could you come up with a list of worst books? Worst books, books. What, when, I, when I'm thinking of not um, not just that that was really bad, but um, um, books that have influenced or steered us. You know, you think of like Darwin's Origin of the Species, um, where where books that have had a pivotal uh, have been pivotal in moving uh, us in a very very bad. Yeah. Direction. So the modern evangelical church, um, uh, Brian McLaren's a, a generous orthodoxy, um, helped usher in the postmodern goo. In, into the contemporary evangelical uh, church. Some of the, uh, um, oh, f I can't think of uh, some of the early evangelical feminists, I can't think of a title right now, but back in the 70s, there were uh, okay. the, the, well, do, do, was Paul really saying, you know, yeah. this about. Okay. Thank you.